Hi, welcome to this sixth video in a GUI based approach to machine learning and sports betting. Today I'm going to take a look at um, correlation plots and also going to look at whether or not this software can be used for trading, trading prices, whether pre race or in race. Uh, it's not something I'd primarily thought about, but um, I was asked a question by email about this particular subject and uh, I realized that um, it's quite possible to use this software to get some insights into trading strategies and we're going to take a look at that today. Okay, I've, I've loaded up a, a smallish file here which is again flat handicaps from years 11 to 12, 2011 to 2012 and I'm going to take a look at some new variables down here, some new features, namely the uh, in-play drop 30, drop 20 and drop 10 which we can see here. What this means is in play or IP drop 30 is the uh, is the is a 1 or a 0 uh, value which indicates whether or not the horse in question dropped in price by 30 percent or more and as you can see from here on the right here the drop frequency there's roughly about uh, I would say about 59 percent actually dropped in price during in running. Now the question is can we predict this better than 59%? Can we can we improve that with any particular variables? Well let's take a look at a couple first. Uh, let's look at um, where are we? Trainer strike rate, jockey strike rate. So we're gonna go and take a look at whether these are very predictive but in order to predict in play drop 30 we've got to change the prediction variable from finpos to ip drop 30 so it's trying to predict ip drop 30 rather than finpos we'll also need to change the win lose here if we're going to be using some of these uh, the correlation plots so we're going to have to change that to ip drop 30 as well okay other than that we're good to go so we can create the model pull this over and we're going to use tenfold cross validation uh, for just to speed things up I'll read it's not it's not that slow actually but I'm going to speed it up by making that a fivefold cross validation uh, we're going to create the model now this is going to create some crazy looking positive returns here but we're not interested in the returns here because we're not actually trying to predict Finpos and by giving it a, um, a target variable and a, a win-lose variable of 59%, obviously these are going to be uh, astronomical profits showing here. But that's that's totally relevant, and we must obviously ignore them. It's not relevant to what we're doing, and it's not even relevant to the real world and betting either. What we're interested in is whether or not the um, these features here have any predictive value regarding in-play drop 30. Well first thing we can take a look at is this correlation plot. Now this gives us a snapshot. Here's the in-play drop. This gives us a snapshot of how correlated trainer strike rate is to in-play drop by reading across this matrix here. And a positive number, and this is positive 0 0.03, means that there is some correlation between trainer strike rate and in-play drop. A positive number means that as trainer strike rate goes up, the chances of in-play drop goes up. And obviously the larger this number, the more correlated trainer strike rate is with in-play drop. We can see that the jockey strike rate is also positively correlated with in-play drop, but not quite as much as trainer strike rate. Okay, let's remove that. And now let's do a calibration plot, which will show us how closely the um, the actual predictions are to the true rate which is on this blue line here the true rate of drops in price so we can see that if I point here we can see that at, and on the X value there of 50 0.58 when it predicts between 58 percent and 61 62 percent chance of dropping in price it's pretty accurate but there are some outliers here 
which are way off. But if we take a look at, if we go into the CSV file and take a look at the ratings, we'll find that quite a, most of the ratings are compact in that particular space there. And therefore, we can, you know, we can say that this is reasonable at predicting uh, price drops. But uh, when we're talking about between 59 and 61, that's only slightly better than the overall or the baseline of 59% that I mentioned earlier. Okay, let's go back and take a look at a different predictor, which we instinctively might feel be a better predictor than trainer strike rate and jockey strike rate. If we go down here, we've got pace figure. Now this is the pace figure the horse achieved in the race prior to the current race it's a, that the system's examining. Uh, the higher the pace figure, the more prominent it was in the race. So a horse that led all the way in a race would typically have a pace figure of about 5.6. A horse that was held up in the race would have a pace figure of zero. Okay, let's do five-fold cross-validation with the pace figure predicting, hopefully predicting, an IP drop 30. few seconds to run it's not a big file just two years worth of data so it's fairly quick now we can look at the correlation plot the pace figure is correlated with in play drop uh, at, again positive 0 0.03 which is what we'd expect we'd expect as the pace figure goes up the chances of uh, a horse dropping in play in price would be increased and that seems to be the case it's only similar to trainer strike rate however remove this and then if we look at the calibration plot uh, this is interesting it's much more tightly and consistently predicting along the horizontal uh, the diagonal axis it seems that uh, it makes a fairly good job of predicting uh, the drop in price in play when the values when it's when it's coming up with a prediction value of between 58 and 62%. So there is, if the overall baseline is 59, then it certainly improves by 2 or 3% when you get into these region here. So it's it's got some predictive worth. If you're looking for something that's going to shoot it right up into the 70s and 75, 80, then that's not the case. We'd need something to um, have greater predictive value. Okay, um, we've also got another variable here, which is price drift. This is a, an indicator of whether the price drift from the pre-race Betfair average to the Betfair SP. So again, this particular feature can be used uh, to do some predictions on uh, pre-race trading. Okay, that's a, a very quick brief overlook at potential ways of using this software for trading and also uh, calibration and, and correlation plots. If you have any questions, please post below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much.